Hey, Storm, sorry. Um, I know you've missed some time with injuries, so I was just wondering kind of what's your status right now? How are you feeling? Um, I mean, are you ready to go come come the game um, next week? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I've been practicing. I mean, ever since, you know, they said I was out a little bit. I was out a little few days, but I mean, back and I'm practicing. I haven't missed practice since. Okay, great. And um, – I mean, one second here. Yeah, so what do you want to do this season? What, what's your goals? What do you foresee the season going? I know it's a big year for you and Tony Grimes. Like, how do you see it going with you two on um, that cornerback? I definitely see it as going uh, good. The main thing, my goal is just to be a guy who's – a guy who my teammates can count on, and, you know, in, like, crucial circumstances, be there for my teammates. If they need anything, need help, watching film, learning, things like that, just being there for them and just being a guy, being a guy to go to. Okay, thanks, man. Andrew Jones, go ahead. Hey, Storm, uh, how 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 much are you close to being 100%? Are you 100%? And how much have you been 100% physically and then mentally matching that over the last two years? Yeah, over the, obviously, over the last few years, it's been uh, hard mentally. But, you know, I'm, o I'm over that over that at home now, and I'm feeling, you know, mentally 100% confident, physically 100% confident since I've gotten back. Started playing, you know, getting back in the routine, getting back, you know, technique wise, doing extra work after practice and, you know, just building confidence and watching film and learning schemes and, you know, different things like that, route concepts. I'm feeling, feeling really good. What, when was the most challenging part for you, especially mentally, kind of process what it's been almost two years now where you've been kind of intermittently in and out? When was the most difficult part mentally? And can you take us down that road a little bit, please? Yeah, I say mentally, I say the definitely the beginning of last year, beginning of the season last year through uh, missing those uh that first half right there definitely definitely was hard on me. Um, then after that, you know, just just staying positive. The main thing is just staying positive and not getting down and not you know not letting it affect me and not letting it affect you know like how I act and things like that. Because the main thing is you gotta it's a new day, a new challenge, a new opportunity. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, let's go over to CL Brown. Hey, Storm, I was curious, how different is your role this year in terms of leadership, in terms of, you know, trying to make sure the younger guys like uh, Boykins and Balfour are kind of, you know, brought up to speed? I say from last year, being a little bit, you know, being more vocal. I mean, obviously, the guys know me like a laid back guy, um, you know, but if they need anything, just, you know, just someone to talk to and, you know, trying to be more vocal on the field. And, you know, if they need any, like I said, if they need any help, things like that, just being the guy they can go to and just talking to them. And if they need help with something, you know, just ask me, ask any of the other older guys or, ask, you know, ask, ask the coaches, you know, one of, one of us would know it. And uh, from, from a cornerback's perspective, what are the kind of changes, what nuances uh, do you feel like are different for you this year as compared to playing in the scheme last year? I'll say from last year to this year, um, definitely just like I, I, I discipline, you know, staying, staying locked in on the receiver, staying square at the line and, you know, just, just playing, you know, finishing routes and finishing plays. That's, that's a lot. That's what's been different here. Just from last year to this year. Okay. Let's go over to Adam Smith. Hey, Storm, um, just wanted to ask you, uh, listening to you earlier, when you, you said a goal for this season is to be someone uh, your teammates can count on, did the injuries, did they make you feel like you were someone they couldn't count on? I mean, no one wants injuries. You know, that's not what you want to do at all. But was that a side effect of being hurt? Is Was that feeling there for you? Um, I, don't, I don't think it never was a feeling of mine. I mean, obviously, like, take a – a lot of you know take like studying the playbook and all that seriously and even if you know a guy you know a guy asks someone like ask for, ask for anything you know I just you know step in and you know help them out just knowing having that knowledge of knowing like what you have to do or if I don't know it, if you didn't know it at the time you know just asking right. asking my other teammates and getting back to that person I was there was there the, the way you were able to get back last year and some of the nice moments that that you had um, are there anything that, that you remember from, is there anything that you remember from the end of last year that sticks out to you that, that makes you think, look, this is what Tony and I, this is what the secondary might be capable of this year. Or is there anything that sort of sticks with you from the end of last season? Yeah. Um, 
really, I mean, like since, you know, like our secondary now, I mean, we're, we're all, we're all talented. I mean, we've got a lot of competition back there and I say a, a moment, uh, I'm not, not really a definite moment, but I mean, as like right now is guys are locked in and you, you, you know, you can see the like visible and like visible difference of, you know, from last year to this year. How do you see that? Sorry for a third one, Kimmel. How do you see that? Uh, just how, how guys are competing. I mean, how God, how serious guys are, you know, studying the playbook, studying, you know, just different teams and coming out here getting extra work uh, after, you know, after practice, after, after means, after lift. I mean, that's, that's a real big difference. I'll shut up. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Uh, we'll go over to Richard Atkins. Hey, Storm, thank you for taking your time speaking with us today. Just got a few questions for you. Um, you talk about often helping out the other players and wanting to be that leader. Uh, going through your injury, was there any player that stood out to you that kind of helped you through your process? Can you repeat that again? Yeah, was there any player that helped you through your process through your injury? That Because you talk about how you want to help out and be the voice for the other players. Uh, during your process or your injury, was there any players that stuck out for you that was kind of there for you? I was there. Um... Yeah, definitely. I say definitely all the DBs, um, like then all you know the coaches too. Like they've been there for me, uh, like mentally checking in on me and just making making sure I was fine. And I, you know, I, I really appreciate that. And really, just the whole staff. I mean, it's not you know a person that I can say that you know what I'm saying wasn't there for me. You know, ask how I was doing, ask you know how, how I was feeling and stuff like that. So you know, I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. All right, and last question for for me anyway. Uh, Got to know, you know, a lot of good music came out this year. What is there a song this year for the defense to back for the defense? Is y'all blasting any type of music? Type of music? Uh, not yet. I mean, everybody got their own taste of music, so it's, it's a little. I mean, you might have some people that you know, Don's from California, he, he might like some West Coast music over, you know, what I'm saying some East Coast music, but I mean, it's we don't, we don't have a song yet, but I mean, hopefully soon we will. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's go to Shelby Swanson. Hey, Shelby Swanson, Daily Tar Heel. I wanted to ask a little bit about the leadership committee that Coach Brown revamped over the offseason and what impact that you've seen with that in the locker room. Yeah, you definitely see it a lot. Um, like with the leadership committee, like we, we meet and like for a few hours and just talk about, you know, talk about different things, you know, like just different things that like we feel like should be done and you know, just communicating, you know, just a lot of communicating between the players and the coaches, you know, how things are going. Um, but yeah, and could you repeat the second part of that question? I'm sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to ask about what impact that you've seen um, of that in the locker room. You can maybe specifically talk about it for um, your position group. Yeah, so for the locker room, I mean, it's a huge difference. All guys, like if you leave something, leave something on the ground, like we don't, you know, what I'm saying you have to pick it back up. And I mean, that's that's something little right there, but it, you know, can go a long way as far as. You know, walking around this, you know, walking on the facility might be something on the ground, or walking outside the stadium on campus might see someone on the ground, pick it up for someone, and it's just like little stuff like that that adds up, you know, becomes bigger things in life. All right, uh, real quick here, uh, back over to Ross. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, real quickly, Storm, are there any young corners that are standing out to you? We've heard a couple guys' names. Um, can you tell us who's standing out and kind of why you think they're um, doing well in your eyes. I definitely say young corner Dante Dante Balfour. Uh, he, he's like he's long. He's you know what I'm saying he's smart and he he can play. Like he's he's showing a lot definitely in camp and all that. And Marcus Allen too. Uh, Marcus is same thing. Like he's long, and tall, quick, and I mean he can make plays. Both of those guys right there, um, you know, just talented and, and, and they're real competitive too. So great, thank you. Sure. All right, last question um, for Storm uh, CL Brown. Go ahead. Hey Storm, uh, I just wanted to clarify: Are you only playing at corner, or have you spent any time playing in that star position? Yeah, I've been uh, getting some work in at the star position. Uh, you know, it's being on the inside a little bit. Um, really, just to uh, like a lot of crossover, crossover training for you know for depth and things like that. So I've, I've been getting a little bit, uh, you know, star work and you know some primarily up on the outside though. All right, thanks. All right, Storm, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. Sure.